Hello, good morning. Okay, is this not awesome? This is my third day in a row making a video just like I promised. So, um, this one is, again, I'm making a project from the Bows and Banners bundle. That's the promotion that's going on right now where you buy these five dies and this glue and you get your die cutting machine free absolutely free so you're getting way less than half because it's a hundred and forty dollar value for this this is what the amaze machine sells for but when you buy these dies and this glue you get the machine free and when you total all those up it's only 89.70 so that's an amazing amazing deal so anyway Seriously, that's one of those things that I'm like, okay, I'm definitely going to share this because it's just, that's such a good deal. Um, so the die that we are going to work with today is called Creative And this is a fun die and I've used this die a lot. Um, and we're gonna make this cute little Father's Day gift bag. So, and I'm going to make a couple of changes to it. This was my prototype, and um, there are a couple of things I want to do just a teeny bit differently. But anyway, so let's get started. First thing is my bag. This is just a gift bag that I got at the store. I think, I believe I got this at Target in the dollar section. It is... Eight and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. So there's that. Um, next thing is our base, the dad's sweater. And so this is what it looks like when it's all cut. And I'll show you how I did it. Um, you need your ruler. I like this ruler because it's so much easier because I can get my lines straight without having to measure twice for everything. Um, let me grab a pencil. And this you can mark on the back because you are going to be um, turning over. So it's fine. So what the first thing you want to do is you want to go in Let's make five eighths. So let's see. There's your mark. And then right here. Yeah, so just make a mark at those. And then we also want to do two and a half inches. So right down the middle. That's pretty easy, right? So we made our marks. Now, just go ahead and make your lines. Honestly, you don't need to make them all the way to the bottom. Let's go ahead and do our five and a half line coming up from the bottom. And we'll just do that one across. So five and a half this direction. We'll make that line and then we don't need to go past that point with any of our lines. Um, so five eighths, two and a half inches, and then here's our other five eighths from this side down to our, um, five and a half inch line. Um, okay. Now we take our scissors. Oh, actually let's get our ruler again. So you want to take a measurement from the corner of this line to the corner of that center line. And that's going to be your cut line. And sometimes I'll just put an X in the spot that I'm going to cut off because sometimes it's confusing when you have a bunch of lines. So just line those up. Okay, and then simple, all you do is cut this diagonal line and this diagonal line. 
And I like these grand pro shears when I'm cutting a long line because it's so easy to cut a straight line and then you don't have to get out your um, your cutter, paper cutter. But you can use that if you want. But this is just easier. So there's our sweater. We're done with our sweater part. So next is our collar. And the trick with the collar is you just want to get a color similar or the same as your bag. So we've got... This is, what is this color? Is it Riverstone? It is, yes. This is called Riverstone. This is called Pool Play. I love this color so much. So this is what we're wanting to do. I changed the color a little bit on this and this because I wanted it to have a deeper neckline so that I could put more than one button. And so just that it would show more. So anyway, so there we are. Well, let's see. I need to pull this up so I can see if anybody joins. Okay, so on the back, this one has a few more markings. So we're gonna go in the middle again, which is two and a half because it's five inches long. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this piece of paper that we're starting out with is five inches wide and eight and a half inches long. It's just a half a piece of cardstock that I've cut in half, except not in half. I've cut at five inches. So I've cut five and then you'll have the rest of that left over. So it's not quite half, but the other side stays eight and a half inches. So um, this one, five inches across, and then you're gonna, Find the half point. All right, hang on. Gotta have room here. All right. Whoop. Catch, okay. Our pencil. That does not look straight, does it? I'm gonna have to quickly. Let's make sure that's straight. Nope, it's not straight. So I'm gonna straighten that first because it's not gonna work if it's not straight. It'll work, but I think this is the straight side, so, yep. <laughs> Maybe it's that side. All right, so it's straight. It cut off like a little hair. Maybe I'm not straight. My Vision is all weird. Okay. I've got my glasses on now. Maybe that helps. Okay. So there's the middle line. So you're going to want to draw that line in. And then two and three fourths from the side. That is not two and three fourths. That would be one and three fourths. No, that's wrong. Oh, you know what it is? Two and three fourths is this measurement. See? Two and three fourths. So I'm sorry. So this is five inches across, two and three fourths down. This is actually, our next mark is going to be at an inch. Okay, so we'll draw that line in an inch down from the top. And you guys, seriously, it doesn't have to be exact. Now we're gonna go in an inch and a half from each side. And draw in those lines. This seems so complicated, but it's really not. It's just to get your lines even. And then you know what? If you don't want to measure, just eyeball it. It's fine. Okay, so this one, we're just going to take a, a diagonal line in the middle of this square. 
We're going to cut this one off. So we'll do that on the other side. And then in the middle, we're going to go the opposite direction, but from corner to corner again. That's why I draw in all those lines. And Okay, so we're going to cut these off so that we have this shape. Okay, so again, the trusty scissors. Okay. I'm doing this early today because my daughter Maddie is coming with her kids today. And once they're here, there's no way I'm going to be up in this room doing this. I'm going to be hanging out with them. Okay, so now we've got our basis for our shirt. So this is the collar, and that just shows the shirt underneath. So let's go ahead and put those. Now let's put it together all at once. That's the fun part. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've cut... Maybe we'll do this one, just for fun. So these are the pieces that you get when you cut out the bow. This is what it looks like. Um, these are the dies, and I've just put it on a magnetic sheet. These, this little ridge that you can see that's raised is what cuts it, and it should be that direction anyway. Anyway, so there's our pieces, three pieces. And this is what we have. Okay, one thing I did on this, I didn't do the complete bow on this. I didn't even use this piece. But then I thought, you know what? I think it kind of needs it. But if you do it as is, it's too long and it looks too girly. So what I did is I decided to cut this one a little bit. And I'm going to take my smaller, my detail shears, and I'm going to go in, I don't know, between a quarter of an inch and a half an inch. And re-cut that. Let's round the tips. I think they're cute rounded. They look more real. Okay. Throw these away. And so now we have a shorter tail to our bow. Let's see what size that end up. See? Ah, that that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this bow together. I've got the craft glue. This is what comes with that bundle. I usually store it upside down. When I don't, I do this. Because all the glue is hot. There we go. So you just want to put a little on each of these little ends and just line it up, hold it down for a few seconds and the glue will grab and see it's nice because I had that off and so you can just kind of move it around until it's dry or until it grabs. Still a little bit. Um, and then get your other end, put that down and you just line it up. Hold it for just a few seconds, and then, whoops, a few more seconds. So this paper is from the Sunday Adventure Prints. This is the paper pack. It's so cute. So it's got 12 designs, and these, the ones on top are one side, the ones on bottom are another side. So there's 25 papers all together, and they're all double-sided. So there's four of each pattern. Anyway, this is such a cute paper pack. I totally love it. Everybody does. It's one of those that everybody's just psyched about. So this one, of course, is from this paper pack. Okay, now we're going to put... 
whenever you're making something that um, has a force on it, you're going to want to use this craft glue because if you use um, a tape runner, it, the tape runner is not strong enough to hold it because it constantly wants to pop open. And so you really need a good craft glue. This one's awesome. Um, okay, so now I'm going to put this on. Yeah, that looks so cute. See, that's just better. It does need the back, but not long, like a little girl ribbon. Not for a bow tie. Okay, now you just take this. This is the center. I'm just going to put a little glue on each side and start at the back and put that down and then just wrap it around the middle. We'll see if I still have enough glue on that. I took the glue right off with my finger. So that's our little bow. Cute. Don't you just love that? That is just the cutest, cutest. I think since I got one side shorter, I'm going to put that on the bottom. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now, kind of tricky. Now we're going to do the Argyle sweater. And I have some diamonds that I cut out. And I just, honestly, you can just sit down and figure out how to cut out diamonds. But I didn't want to do that because they're not squares. And I just thought, ugh, I have to sit and measure them and figure them out. And so instead, and like I said, you can do that. It wouldn't be hard. I was just wanting, I was being lazy. Instead, I took, this is our cute little hats off die set. It, um, oh, I'll show you. I have one right here. It makes a little graduation cap, a little 3D, because it pops up. Isn't that so cute? So, um... I took the diamond from that and just cut my diamonds from that. So, um, here they are. Let's see which ones we want to use. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll just bag the white on this one and just do... Actually, we probably only need two because I did something else on this one just to try to do differently. And I did this part of the Argyle sweater. And this is what I did so that we could line that up. I don't know. Do you like that as much? <gasps> hi, Kathy. Hi. Thank you. I just looked up and thought, am I alone? Can somebody give me their opinion? So do you like it with the Argyle? Or do you just like it with the three? I kind of like the Argyle. But anyway, so if we do it that way, then we don't need any of this. Or should we do the red? I kind of like the blue because the tag is going to have both. And that'll kind of make it match better. I think we need the blue and the red. Okay, so I'm just going to do it this way. I think the easiest way to do it, and I'll show you how I did it. I took the tag. I thought this was pretty clever. I took the tag and I just, or the die, and what I did was I cut the diamonds out. And so when you do it, it leaves a little impression on the edge where it pushes down on this. And so I just lined it up right next to the next one and then right next to that one. And then I took my scissors, my big ones again, because I'm cutting straight lines. And where it leaves that edge, I just cut that edge out. So I just cut around it. And it was super easy. Let's see. I think I'll cut the straight edges and then go cut the corners afterwards. 
See how easy? Instead of trying to figure out how to draw this and cut out the inside, this worked out so easily. Made me feel really smart. Because um, usually I do things the hard way. So, so you can tell me if I'm a bad mom, but school doesn't actually end till Friday. Friday's the last day, and my son convinced me yesterday he didn't need to go today. He went through all his classes and told me what he was doing. Hopefully he was telling me the truth and not exaggerating, but he probably was exaggerating a little bit, but... um. His grades are good, so I'm going to have to just trust him, but he just said, I really am going to be sitting around doing nothing. They're watching a movie in one of his classes. You know how it is. They're done. There's no sense in starting anything at this point. And if they do, we as parents will rebel, right? Um, and... There we go. Okay. See how easy? That was so easy. Um, it would have been so much harder if I had tried to cut the inside, but you could. You could draw, draw them out. You could even trace your diamonds and then cut them out with a craft knife. But And what I'm going to do, I like this one better actually, is I am going to just glue this area in between don't want to get too much glue. I hate when I get too much glue because it makes a mess. And I'm just going to center them because I think that is going to be easiest. I am just all kinds of smart this morning. So, so yeah, I told Cade that I would think about whether he had to go to school or not. And it's 8 o'clock and he has not come out of bed yet. And he usually gets up himself. So I think he's doing the, I'll just stay down here and maybe play dumb if I have to. Anyway, so I decided, you know what? Let's just let him stay home. It's almost over. His grades are good. His He's watching a movie in one of his classes. He's also got a wood shop class. I'll have to show you. He made me the most beautiful jewelry box. It's, and it's huge. I mean, it's just beautiful. I love it. But anyway, so, you know, it's too late to start a project. So if you're not working on a project, trying to finish it up, there's, there's no, there's nothing to do. And so I said, well, what does your teacher tell you to do? And he says, well, he tells us to go help somebody else with their project, but nobody wants help with their project. He said, unless it's sanding, and nobody wants to help sand. <laughs> I thought, well, that's, it's better than sitting there doing nothing. You like the blue? Ah, good. I am so glad. Good, good. Okay, so I'm kind of expecting that he'll come up when he feels like it's safe, and he'll go, oh, oops, I didn't wake up. And I'll say, that's okay, because... I decided to let you stay home, right? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to put this down first because I've got glue. Where it's going to not have anything to glue to if I don't. So here we go. And this is just little. I'm giving you these sizes for just a little bag. If you want to make a bigger bag, make it bigger. But you're on your own with the measurements. But it's not hard. Okay, so here we go. Let's put some over here. Okay. I don't even know what I'm giving for Father's Day. I don't my husband's birthday is in a week. And I don't even know what I'm getting him for his birthday. You know, I don't know. You get to this age and Gifts are different. You just, you have the stuff you 
really want, you just don't want as much. It's funny. You just get to a certain age and you just don't want as much. Um, cause you have things when you're starting out, you just, you don't have anything and you want it. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, I'm going to glue this glue is going to hold it the best. So we'll go ahead and glue just right there up where the tips of the corner of the diamond are. That bow tie turned out cute. That's way better than this one. That just looks like something's missing. And now I have more room. Let's see if it'll fit two of these buttons. If not, I might have to get into my other buttons. And I just took this out of the black and white buttons set. Oh yeah, those will fit. And I just turned it over. It's got this cute little flower design and I just turned it over. Okay. Okay. Let's glue those on. I'm going to use a glue dot for those. Yeah, buttons, that works really well with buttons. Yeah, it's that good. Okay, I'll put this one on first so I can kind of make sure it's right down there at the bottom. And then I'll put this one on. Okay, is this boring? Um, it probably is. And I've got morning voice. I've got that growly voice. <clears throat> That's pleasant. I woke up, you guys, and my mouth was so dry. I could hardly even swallow, so I imagine that was really attractive last night. Look, that looks cute. I like this one. I like this one better than that one. Now we just make the tag, and the tag is easy. So, yeah, so last night, I guess I just laid there all night breathing through my mouth, probably snoring. So... Okay, let's move to the next step and then I'll tell you something. Okay, so this is the sentiment that I'm using. It says, Happy Father's Day, and it's from Annual Celebration. This is a great stamp set because it's got all these different New Year, Christmas, Mother's Day, Fourth of July. I've used this one a lot. Um, Valentine's Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, St. Patrick's, Easter, and Father's Day. So that is a great stamp set. So we're using Happy Father's Day. And what I'm going to do, I'm using the black licorice ink. Oh, I'm not going to make the same mistake I made yesterday. It's better if I put the stamp upside down and stamp on it. Okay, and I'm going to do this kind of towards the top. It's hard to see because I, um, I'm going to do that again. Because of this white paper, it's hard to see where my paper is. Oops, there I go. Let's make sure I didn't I'm gonna stamp that off. Okay. The reason I don't want to do it the other way is sometimes I'll get ink on one of the edges and then it will show when I stamp it. So it just works better if I do that. Okay, now I can see better. Sorry if my head's in there. Hopefully you can see. Okay, that is it. That's all the stamping we're doing for this project right there. And let's see, then I just took some of this blue paper and this is how I did it. I just took my Easy Glide adhesive and I just lined this paper up where I wanted it and stuck it down, turned it over and cut it out just along the tag. Okay, easy. And then we have our twine, and I can't remember what color this is, but I'll, I'll put all the the things that I used in the comment section. 
Okay, then I just took the twine and just wrapped it around a few times. Three, four, maybe. Let's do five. And then I just took it. I did a couple of different things. I um, think I'll do this. I tried a bow, but the bow just kept covering the word day. And so I thought, you know what? I also don't want a bunch of bows on this card. We've got the bow tie, and that's the star of the whole card. So we don't want a bunch of bows everywhere. So I just tied it off in a knot and cut it. No bows. And then I'm going to do this again. I took one of the sides and just stuck it under because I liked the way that looked. So let's cut that off. Okay. There's our tag. How easy was that? Okay. We're not quite done though. Let's we are doing one more stamp, and I thought this made a big difference. So we're gonna stamp again, but I'm just stamping the word happy. And I'm gonna cut that out. Actually, this one's little. I'm just gonna use these. So if we do this out of red, that'll kind of pop and add interest and color to the tag. So, and, we, and the tag is not the star, but we still want it to be cute. And it's our um, message, our sentiment, so we want it to get noticed. Okay, so then I'm going to take our foam squares and cut one in half and then just put those on the back and then just put it right over that one look how much cuter that is that just makes all the difference doesn't it okay now last thing okay this one's cute this one I like a lot better than my first one. It's just cuter, huh? Okay, then I just took some of this wine and I really don't need this much of it. Let's see. And I just stuck it through the tag. You guys all know how to do this. You stick the loop through and then you pull the ends through and then I just I want it to hang I don't want it to be up here competing with the bow or it's not gonna show so I'm just want it to kind of hang by the argyle on the sweater so I'm glad we used the red because the blue it needs that I mean I'm glad we used the blue because it needs that much Okay, so we're just going to tie a knot. And again, you don't want a bow up here because you don't want it competing with this bow. So I am going to cut this one pretty close. And then you just, I just stuck it behind the bow so it would hang down. So there it is. Look how cute. I think that's way cute. And way cuter than this one. Just throw that one away. This one's way cuter. So anyway, there it is. Happy Father's Day. And that's the cute creative bow die. Anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a video tomorrow. I'll try, but I've got my painting class tomorrow morning. But anyway, so there it is. Yay, yay. Thanks for joining me. And Kathy, if you're still here, how fun. Um, thank you so much and have a great day. Is it summer for you out there? I don't know if you're still on here, but I don't know. Do you have any, you are still here. Do you have any kids still in school? Cause we had Cade a lot later. We had one and he was seven when we had Cade and they were born on the same 
they have the same birthday, which is so funny because we knew it was due around that time. And our OB said, what, you know, pick a day this week. And we considered, we thought, well, should we give him the same birthday or, you know, what should we do? And then we decided, you know what, let's have them have their own birthdays. And so we said, no, we'll, we'll have him the next day. So they'll have birthdays next to each other, but not on the same day. And then Cade said, uh, no, I am coming on my brother's birthday. So it was fun. We had him that afternoon. And then, um, my husband's mom was so cute because she made a birthday cake and she brought um, presents for Tanner, my my seven-year-old son, and we had a birthday party in the hospital for him that very day. So I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, thank you so much, you guys, and have a great day. And I will see you probably Friday. Okay? Thank you. You have a 17-year-old, but school's out, although he's been out for longer. <laughs> I know. I mean, Kate's in eighth grade and he is just, he's just had it. He's just done. And every day it's the same thing. It's like, I don't need to go to school. I, we're not doing anything. So anyway, um, but they did have an assignment in his facts class where they, no, was it facts? Yeah. Or maybe it was just cooking and they cleaned and it was with worth 50 points. So he really should have been there that day, but he's still got it. He's fine. His grade's still fine. So anyway, well, thank you, Kathy. That was fun having you on here. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye.